I grew up in Hawaii and went away to college, and then I moved to New York. I became a concert dancer and started doing Broadway shows. I've been HIV positive for about 40 years. And when I first found out, like everybody, I thought I was gonna die. And then I found out in 1995 that I was gonna live. The drugs became available, and I thought, now I have a future. 10 years ago, I moved to Cathedral City, and when I retired, I was busier than I was working because I was able to do all the things that I love to do, that I was looking forward to do, and I was free to just go and do it. Your mind and your, your life is a terrible thing to waste, so I make sure I do meditate every day, and it keeps me grounded, keeps me happy. I also still haven't given up on performing. Twice a week, I meet with my spoken word group, and we chat and then practice for upcoming shows. Aging, eventually, slips in just to turn off the lights. Amazing. <laughs> so I continue to stay in touch with the people who matter most to me, you know, my friends in Hawaii, my friends in New York. Calling old friends keeps me connected to my past. Yeah, um, aloha. Aloha, baby. Okay, thank you so much. Love, love you. you. Bye-bye. Let's go. Three old people coming through. I have um, scoliosis in my lower back, and every specialist that I've been to says that I should be in a wheelchair. And I, from the get-go, I know it's because of my yoga practice. All right, here we go. Let's start bouncing. <laughs> Good. So pulling our zipper up, lengthening our spine. So what I did was I started to develop this practice called Yoga Chi. And that is what I teach. It's very esoteric in terms of what your spirit is, your breath is, and your source of energy, and not just standing there and holding a pose. Good, and we're gonna splash it into ourselves. Inhale, take the chi ball, take the chi energy in. Teaching is all about connection, and thanks to modern technology, it's possible for me to reach wider audiences, and it inspires me to keep growing my classes. You know, I hope people know that as you get older, you don't have to buy the picture that people tell us is supposed to be. You can still go faster and continue to be an example for others in your community. I think ultimately being fearless in different points has saved my life, but basically being fearless has defined me, defined my life. And I hope to share that with others.